Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. This is the Civivi Shredder. This is an excellent option from Civivi, and I do know it was, it had some critical reception, critically good reception when it first came out, and then sort of fell flat off the face of the earth. It sold out pretty much everywhere, but it is going to be, uh, I believe, it's going to have another run come out at some point, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's early in 2021. So. I'm going to go ahead and do a review, and we'll go from there. So anyway, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here. This is actually a pretty big knife for Civivi, because Civivi is known for doing knives that are 3.5 inches in blade length and 3 inches in blade length, mostly. And yet, this one is actually pretty large, as you can see. Bigger than both the Paramilitary 3, para, para three and the Paramilitary 2. Uh, it is... Very similar in size, blade blade length to the Shaman, still a little bit longer than the Shaman, and uh, also bigger in the handle. Larger than both the Benchmade Freak and the Griptilian. And it is a little bit smaller than the Microtech SOCOM Elite. And let's go ahead and get up another size comparison here. How about some CJRBs? The three and a half inch Centros, the three and a half inch Feldspar, and the Best Tech Texel. All right, I think that's good enough size comparisons for now. So let's go ahead and talk about the good and the bad of this knife. So first of all, the good. This blade is exceptional. This is an exceptional, exceptional blade. The stock on this is really, really thin to begin with. This is the same stock that the Benchmade Freak has. Now, is that a, a, a thick or a thin stock? Well, the Benchmade Freak is known for being a slicer be, because, and, and the reason it's able to be this thin is because it's M4. It's able to hold that age, that edge, but it's only slightly larger than the stock on the bug out. It is smaller than the stock on other large knives, like the SOCOM Elite and the Para 2, Paramilitary 2, smaller than that one. So the stock on this is great. And on top of that, unlike some of those other knives that have, you know, saber grinds or, or flat grinds, this is a hollow grind. And as a result, it gets really thin behind the edge. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it gets really, really thin behind the edge. Come on, focus. Focus. Yeah, so look how thin that is behind the edge. This thing is a monster for, for just slicing through everything in its path. If the Fruit Ninja had a pocket knife, this would be the pocket knife. It just, it's absolutely incredibly slicey. I'm shocked when I go through paper, how easily it goes through paper, how easily it goes through cardboard. It is, it's beautiful. On top of that, the blade shape itself is great. It has a very nice choil here uh, that, that is fully usable, no problems there. Uh, the hole here, you know, for the thumb hole, is not the best thumb hole. You know, you can use it to go out, but it is exceptional for flicking, for middle finger flicking. Exceptional for middle finger flicking. And as as far as all of the knives I've been able to middle finger flick from Civivi, this is the easiest one to do it with and kind of the best one to do it with. Uh, this is a flipper, it's a liner lock flipper. And the flipper, the detent in this also is very well set up, it rockets out and has excellent action otherwise. It is not quite drop shut, but it is very smooth all the way, and it is on bearings, so uh, that's great as well. Let's see if we can see the bearings in there. Yeah, you can see them in there. So uh, this is excellent, so as far, as far as the blade goes, and let's go ahead and talk about the steel in, the, in here. So this is D2, and D2 is is great for the price um, and the it's gonna have really good edge retention it's not quite stainless but it's not quite you know 
corrosion prone either. So D2 is really good in that way. And it's also not that bad to sharpen. So I, I really like D2 on these budget knives uh, if, if they're heat treated right. And Civivi does heat treat these right. I will say that I kind of prefer 9CR a little bit to D2, even though D2 is, is sort of the upgrade. Uh, Tom Hosang did a, and if you guys aren't subscribed to him, go check him out, Tom Hosang Outdoors. He does a lot of the edge testing. I think Outpost 76 also did some edge testing on D2 and 9CR 13MOV, 9CR 18MOV. Um, so Tom Hosang ran, ran, ran a test twice. The 9CR came back a little bit uh or a good bit better, I should say, than the D2. Uh, I don't recall if I saw Outpost do it, but I know Outpost has tested pretty much all the steels, so you should check out his uh, his videos as well. Super Steel Sieve, I don't know if he's done any uh, some of these budget steels, but they're all good guys to, to check out the steels for. But D2 in general is very good, and I'm very happy with it for the price range. Uh, when we Let's go ahead and talk about the... Um, the handle next. Uh, so I really like the styling on the handle. Uh, I, I really like this is a G10 with, it's, it's multi-layer G10 as you can see. Let's go ahead and close this to be safe. I already cut myself once. So this is um, uh, multi-layer G10. As you can see, there's multiple layers of blue and black G10 in here. It is textured and we'll get to the texture in a little bit. Um, but uh, that's that, that's nice, uh, really nice styling on it, I believe, and I like the patterning on here as well. I think it looks good. So that's uh, that's also quite nice. Um, th the clip on here is a deep carry clip. I do like it, uh, and it is very standard for Civivi, but I do like it. I do like the lanyard hole here is hidden. It's, it's sort of in the backspacer. The backspacer is very plain. It's kind of a neutral uh, feature, but I like the fact that in a budget knife, you're hiding the lanyard hole back here and you're not really gonna be in the way of anything. So I really appreciate that. Um, the last uh, thing I'll put in the good is the price. This thing's like $61, $62, something like that. And for what you're getting, the multi-layer G10, the D2, uh, a knife this size that is th with this awesome of a blade, I think that's an excellent price, and really everyone should check this knife out at some point. Uh, even if it's not going to be a keeper for you, check it out because I think you'll learn what a what a great slicing knife is. I've had a backlash, and I know the backlash slices. I would say the backlash is similar to this uh, in the slicing capability, but for whatever reason, this feels a little bit smoother going through through items. I don't know if that has to do with the edge um, in particular, but. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the backlash as far as how well it cuts. And the backlash is like 15 uh, thousandths behind the edge. I, don't, I didn't measure this one, but uh, that's that's what you're getting there. So maybe it was uh, 14 or 13. I know uh, Neves and Ives did a measurement of that. I don't do measurements on this channel, sorry. Uh, so that's the, that's the goods. All right, let's, get, let's talk about the bad. So some of the bad is going to be um, the texturing. So the texturing is really rough. I mean, it's not quite Recon 1 tough, but you can, you can hear it's tough. It's grinding off, you know, parts, part of my nails. It's very, very tough, and this will, it's sort of a bear on the pockets. As you pull it in and out of the pocket, it, it does wear on your pockets. Um, luckily, the tension on this is it on the on the clip is not so bad that you're going to really rip up your pockets as much as let's say a Recon One, um, but you it's it's not friendly to your pockets. Let's put it that way. So uh, that I can live without. Also, the um, uh, the ergonomics on this are I would say decent. I wouldn't say they're they're great, and the reason for that is because. You know, a lot of, so a lot of larger knives, I like three, three and a half to, to four inch knives. That's my sweet spot. And I have size large gloved hands and this feels a little big for me, not necessarily because the handle's too big, but because the way the fingers are spaced out here, you have two fingers here and two fingers here. And the way the fingers are spaced out feels too spread for me. And it's a little awkward. Um, you get used to it after a while, and it's not really that bad, but it's not my preferred grip uh, to feel, you know, that, um, that that my fingers are spaced out in this way. My, what my fingers want to do is be up here, and then my ring finger is sort of on, on there, and I don't love that. So 
you know, the ergonomics, I would say, are a, let's call it a six, unless you, unless you have really extra large or double XL hands, then you could probably fit and it'd be perfect for you. So uh, if you have large or medium hands or even small hands, just be aware of that you're probably, this, this hump is probably gonna be an issue for you. Um, next thing, the, like I said, the, the tension on the clip is good. Um, and the, well, I already talked about the, uh, the, the pocket being ripped up. Um, the hardware here, the Civivi hardware, I think is getting a little dated. Uh, I know that's their logo and that's their, um, that's their pivot, but it is getting a little dated. I think that it, it whoops, I hit the camera stand. Uh, I think that you're, we're seeing over time that, you know, the, the styling is revolving a little bit much around the pivots and I would, I would prefer just to see something different out of Civivi. Now, Civivi is sort of moving in 2021 away from, you know, uh, their old model. They're, they're, they got Sencut, which is their, you know, budget, budget brand. And then Civivi is going to be their middle line. And then they've got their Wii Knives, which is going to be uh, the higher end line. So they are moving to a different model. And I expect some of that to change as it goes through. But still an issue with this knife. And we'll see if it changes uh, going forward. Um, uh, other than that, this is an excellent option for EDC. It's an excellent option overall. Um, the conclusion on this is I, I do very, very much recommend this knife. If you're looking at this knife and you're on the fence, go ahead and get it. It's a great knife and you won't be disappointed. Um, the, just be, just know that when you get it, one thing I was disappointed with was, was with the uh, texture of the G10 right here. It's just very, very rough. I wasn't expecting that, especially if you're used to other Civivis, but because a lot of them have very different texture than this. But uh, start cutting with it, and you'll see what I mean. You won't regret it. It's a great knife overall. This blade is just, it's just too good. Uh, so I hope this guys was helpful, guys. Go ahead and uh, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscribe button, and hit the comment below. Let me know if you like this. Uh, this also does come in red, by the way, and I believe it comes in all black as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that at the top of the video. Thanks so much, guys.